What's up beautiful people I am back with another tutorial today I'll be installing these pre-stretch braids from the leaving hair I'll be doing a summer box braids as well as a summer feeding braids towards the front with these braids now this hair is from the leaving hair store on Amazon and these are some 26 inches pre-stretch braids and they come in eight sets per pack guys what I absolutely love about this hair here is that they come already pre-sectioned so you know some of those here you'll have to pre-section those yourself and that can be a mess sis this is definitely a game changer in the packet also came with some rubber bands just in case you want to do the rubber band method and also our handy dandy crochet hook which will will which we will definitely need for this hair let's get into the video I have gone and parted my hair in two sections from ear to ear and towards the back I have done like some small boxes where I'll be doing my jumbo box braids. I've basically braided towards the roots of my hair and I have left the ends out moving on to the front section of my hair where I'll be doing the feed in braids and guys this is my very first time going to attempt the feeding braids in my own hair so wish me luck I'm just going ahead and section shining off the pattern that I want I am going to do a slant um, braid if I do say so and as you know I dub myself the, the the queen of sections so work in sections if you are doing your hair it makes it so much easier I will use my hair wax and I'll just put that towards uh, um, the root as well as I'll spread that towards the end of my hair which I have already pre-sectioned where we are going to do those jumbo box braids to the back of my hair because you know a girl have 4C natural hair so to have that all slit down that's what I will do. Now I'll open my braid and grab just a section because I said it is actually pre-sectioned which I absolutely love and I'll go ahead and do a little twist when you go when you do the twist it actually makes uh, gripping the hair so much easier I will uh, push, push through my crochet hook latch that close it and I'll just put a pull one section of the hair through because I'll be doing a some um, plaits or some braids so you just want one section of the hair now the reason why I did uh, like some pre braiding towards the back is because it actually helps when gripping the hair and I'll go ahead and just braid that down to as far as to the end as I possibly can so this is what our box braids are looking like thus far and I just continue to braid it towards the back of my entire head of hair until I get towards the front I'm going to show you how I do the, the feeding braids using of course these pre-stretch braiding hair if you have made it thus far into the video guys I would appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up comment down below it helps my video to get pushed through to the algorithm so more persons like yourself will see this video and definitely give this video a big big thumbs up now moving on to the front section of my hair I just applied a little bit of my wax to basically try to get my part a little bit more cleaner so um, as I said before I'll be doing a side part of for my um, my feed in braids and I'll just go ahead and make the part again where I want to go ahead and start my braid because I want to get that in of course the middle so for my braiding here I'm grabbing grabbing two sets of my pre stretch braids then I'll go ahead and section those into small and I'll move my way up to the scale so I'll start with a very very small small piece then I'll go to a bigger than that and then I'll just move up the scale I'll grab about six strands of hair um, I hope I do not sound too confusing but for this part it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to explain so I'm just gonna ask you just to watch what I do carefully um, yes yeah, so after braiding after trying to braid the hair what I do is to braid me about three times or three ways down if I am explaining it properly then what I'll do is to use my index finger or your 
pointing finger and that will be my grip finger. I call it my grip or my grabber finger. So this finger will be used every time that finger goes up, you'll attach a bigger section of braid than you did to what you had before. As I said, it's kind of bit of hard to explain so if you are a visual learner this will definitely help you remember guys you can pause the video you can rewind the video and you can just speed up the video i mean whichever helps but i can guarantee you i surprised myself this is my very first time actually attempting to do feed in braids on my on myself and in the past i've made so much mistakes but i find that doing this technique in applying the hair as I go along has been so so much easier so about the hair guys so this is once more the leave-in pre-stretched braiding hair and the leave-in hair store is our vendors on Amazon and all the information will of course be linked of course down in my description box and if there is a code you you know you can go ahead and take advantage of it this color that I'm using is actually number 27 but if you are not into like these bright colors they do have from number one ranging all the way up to TB 30 and even blue and pink and purple so I'm sure you'll find something just right for you So as you can see the hair was so easy to braid it has that natural and soft like human hair even though it is you know a conical and kind of hair I did not have any form of itching or any excessive shredding um, while braiding my hair I did not have any irritation any at all on my skin and uh, of course it had no like strong chemical smell so I would definitely recommend this hair so I know you'll ask how many Many packs did I use for my entire head of hair I used a full pack of hair and I even had like two sets left over so depending on the size braid that you want one pack will be enough but if you're gonna braid like the entire hair in small box braids then I would recommend you getting two packs of hair just to be on the safe side I absolutely love that you can curl the ends if you wish or you can just leave them straight like I am going to to do with mine but you know after a few days you know you may get tired of having it straight then you of course you have the option of definitely um rod setting on those ends and it gives uh, like some beautiful curls so for more information guys you can definitely click the link in of course my description box and it will take you directly to the leave in hair story where you can have all your questions answered just in case i did not get everything all in this video so the hair also comes not in only various colors but they also comes in various lengths as well now that i'm through i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna hot water the ends i did not go ahead and clip my hair because i did not have too much flying out because i did of course use my hair wax so i'm gonna go ahead and carefully hot water uh, my hair and i was so surprised at how the hair came out it felt like so lightweight it was so easy easy to do and of course it wouldn't be a look if i didn't finish off with of course using uh, my mousse and uh, completing my edges using uh, my same edge control so when you are braiding uh, do not uh, go too much of course into your edges we want to protect those as well as we want you know the edges leave out for our baby hair so I have completed the look by adding a little bit of hair jewels as well as my hair sheen I absolutely love how this hair turned out guys if you like what you are seeing today don't forget to give the video a big big thumbs up comment down below will you be trying your own feeding braids as well as your own box braids let me know down in of course the comment section leaving here was also kind enough to send me some um, hijabs or these are like some turbans and these are multifaceted use it can use to protect your braids as well as it can be used as headbands if you don't want the hair in your face use as hair ties and they come in various colors they are stretchable stretch and very breathable as you can see I'm demonstrating 
demonstrating right there it can be worn in more than one ways so thanks more leaving for sponsoring today's video guys thank you so so much for watching my name is jody and i aspire to inspire until next time guys walk good